you use HelloDoc and uh, I put your HelloDoc ID in this video. So yeah. you want many Japanese people uh, talk to you on HelloDoc. Yeah, so um, I'll just take a minute to quickly like address the people that are going to watch this video. So Yasu is going to put um, hopefully my uh, HelloTalk QR code and my HelloTalk ID on the video. If you are looking at wanting to potentially learn Japanese or sorry, not learn Japanese, learn English or teach me Japanese and have somebody that you can talk to that is from a foreign country. I myself am from the UK. Maybe you're not that confident in using English. If you would like, I would be very, very happy to be your first friend on HelloTalk. So you can use the ID and also the QR code to find me. If you send me a message and just say that you have received my ID or my QR code from watching Yasu's video, I will definitely reply to you and have a conversation with you and answer any questions that you might have about the app or about English or talking to foreigners, because I would really love to see more Japanese people joining HelloTalk. Oh, great. <laughs> My viewers are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me, I'm always happy to make new friends and talk to all the people non-stop about all the things. Um, I will just say though, be warned when you message me. I will, let me know your English level when you message me because I will need to be mindful if your English isn't as proficient as some other people because I do tend to talk a lot. So if I say anything that you don't understand, definitely tell me directly and I will do my best to maybe explain it, maybe try and translate it into Japanese and just try and have a bit of a conversation so we can get some things going in English and Japanese as well. I do talk a lot, so just be prepared when you message me to have a good deep conversation in English and let me know if you want it in Japanese and I will try my best. Yeah, and. Uh... You are very friendly and kind, so maybe Japanese people feel happy to talk to you. I mean, I hope so. I just want them to be confident when trying to message me, Even, whether it's in English or Japanese. I'm not going to judge you regardless of your age, your level or anything like that. So it doesn't matter who you are. If you want to have a chat, um, feel free to reach out to me. If I talk too much, if you don't understand, be confident enough to tell me because I need to understand uh, how you feel about my talking for me to be able to talk to you and be your friend and help you in the best way possible. Mm. Yeah, if Japanese people use Skype, it is convenient to use subtitles. It's a very helpful for Japanese people to uh, look at subtitles. Yeah, so when I talk to my Japanese friends, obviously I think line is one of the most common, if not the most common chat application used in Japan. Now, video calling online is definitely a possibility. However, unlike line, Skype does have that subtitle option where if you're talking to a foreign friend, you can choose your language you can have it translate into Japanese. The translation quality isn't very good. However, if reading English is easier for you than listening, then using Skype to put subtitles on the call means that Skype will take each word that your foreign friend says in English and put it at the bottom of the screen. So while you're speaking to them, you can read along with it. So I would definitely recommend Skype to anybody that wants to potentially learn English and practice with a native English speaker. Mm, it's a good tool. The Japanese characteristics, personalities. Western people speak directly compared to Japanese people. In general, Japanese people read other people's mind. So they don't insist on their opinions so much. They think it is rude or impolite to insist too much. But you want Japanese people to uh, speak their opinions more. 100%. Mm. And the reason for that is it's not only with me, but when it comes to speaking to foreigners and Westerners in general, our culture 
is so much the case where we do not have that mind reading aspect. The way that we are is very direct and we're probably not as good at taking smaller hints as Japanese people are. So if you're Japanese, obviously if you're speaking to your fellow Japanese people, it's part of your culture for you to have that mind reading thing going on and understand each other without having to be direct about it. However, if you're going to be talking to foreigners, you do have to be more direct and more blunt with them. So if you do decide to join Hello Talk or another app where you're going to be talking to foreigners after watching a video like this one, I absolutely recommend being more direct and being straight and telling people what you need, what you want and how you feel. So that goes along the lines of, I mean, m most people on Hello Talk are absolutely lovely. However, with it being an app where you are talking to strangers on a regular basis, you may potentially have a situation where you could be talking to somebody that might not be respectful of you, might be demanding things like other social media or things that you're not comfortable with. So in that situation, don't try and be polite and just give in to that person. Tell them no. Tell them that you don't like what they are doing. Tell them to stop. And just in general as well, if you're talking to a friend, you can say things like, oh, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please explain this to me? Ask lots of questions and just verbally say and type everything that you want to say and everything that you mean because i mean especially me we just suck at guessing mm. and uh, it is good way to speak more to improve their english yeah absolutely the more you talk the more you're going to grasp mm. yeah yeah right i think it is one of the reasons why japanese people are not so good at speaking english they are shy and they, they don't speak so much usually mm. so but other countries like thailand or other asian countries people speak more so they are better english speakers compared to japanese people i think i mean yeah and at the same time english isn't for everyone so not everybody is going to be that interested in learning english anyway but more than anything, if there are Japanese people that do want to learn English, but they're just a little bit apprehensive about doing so because they are a little bit nervous about trying to speak English, they're not confident in their English ability, or maybe they're not as used to talking to foreigners. If you really want to improve English, definitely download and get on HelloTalk. Uh, you can make some amazing friends there. There are so many wonderful people that will be happy to help you with English. And you can hit me up as well. Yeah, you use Hello Talk often. Yes. So. I mean, there are times where I'm not on it that much, but I do try and check it every day and reply to messages as much as I can. Mm. And uh, uh, in your experiences, your Japanese friends speak English well? Um, usually the people that I end up staying close to definitely do. But I think that also comes with the fact that they have a better English ability means that we've been able to communicate more efficiently. Mm -hmm. I, even if somebody doesn't have a good English ability, as long as they want to talk to me and they want to keep trying and they're quite happy to keep having a conversation, they can keep sending me messages as much as they want to. It's just more the case that when Japanese people don't have a high level of English, I mean, and I think it goes for all languages as well, they sometimes feel overwhelmed by it and eventually just stop talking for a while because they're not that confident in what they're saying um overall i would just say don't worry about that i would be quite happy to be friends with people of all ages of all abilities and quite happily keep talking to them as much as much as they want to potentially be my friend and exchange culture and languages and things like that